So here's a short video on how to make an FX bus using the uh, auxiliary track. So we're sending from a track such as this church organ in this instance. We want to send audio to an auxiliary track and to use it as an effects track. So what we first need to do is open up the mixer, which is the shortcut X. And then we're looking at a range of tracks that we have here possibly already some auxiliary tracks, all of the audio and instrument tracks. So I'm just going to select the track that I want the auxiliary track to be next to. It will appear directly to the right and all I do is select options, create new auxiliary channel strip. So there it is there, it's named it automatically AUX48. So for this instance I want reverb, um, I actually want a cathedral reverb so I'm just going to call it that so I've named it I have to oh so this is one other thing it automatically set the input on that track as one too and my input one at the moment is the microphone so sometimes you can as you bring this fader up you might get some kind of weird feedback or loop so you just make sure that you go up here to input and select no input uh, just to stop that from happening. Um, so we have our auxiliary track, that's the first step. We have no input at the moment. We've brought the volume up and then we need to pop our reverb plugin on there. So right here is where you load up your effects and we can see that over all the way to the left with audio FX. So I'm going to click in an empty slot and if you want to access some of the old plugins you hold down the option button and you'll see that that legacy appears which is not normally there if you just click on it. Um, so for this instance I'm just going to load up the chroma verb. You always select stereo. That's one other thing. You always when you're selecting if it gives you the option of dual mono or stereo always select stereo for an auxiliary track. So we've got our uh, reverb now um, and then we want to make sure that that's all the way dry is all the way down and wet is all the way up. On some of the old legacy plugins you'll notice that they only have this mix so that's all the way dry and all the way wet. Um, but now with the newer plugins, they've actually given us two separate sliders. So if this uh, cathedral reverb were to be loaded directly onto a track, we would want the dry all the way up and then the reverb just a little bit coming through. But because we have it on an effects track, we don't want any dry and we just want the effect all the way wet. Then the last two steps in the process are choosing an appropriate input for the track, which is always a bus because we're sending to this whatever bus we choose and then you can select any of them that don't have writing next to them so I'm just going to select a totally random one bus 27 and then you can you don't have to remember that number because the bus will have this cathedral reverb written next to it so this effects track is all set up and ready to go now we can bus uh, we can send audio from any track that we want and use that reverb so uh, in this instance I want to use the church organ which is here and under the sends it's already got a couple of sends on there but I want to add my send to it which is going to there it is 27 cathedral reverb we should hear as I increase this beautiful big uh, I actually didn't select a uh, preset on this did I? Let's select a cathedral so we really get the full effect of this. So all the way, well, let's have a listen now. There we go. So that's how you create an effects track using the auxiliary um, channel strips and making a send to a bus. And uh, so this can be called an effects track, uh, a send track, um, or an auxiliary track. There's all, all the same, uh, or different names for the same thing.